Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft Let's Play Part 43. Well, as you can see, I was able to find Nether Wart. I actually did find it uh, after last part, and just for fun, guess how many strongholds I had to go through to find it after going off camera? Yep, one. First try. I couldn't believe it. But what I did is I went from my tower there with the arrow down to the right a bit and right there I found two strongholds pretty nearby to each other and in the first one I went into I never even went into the second one the first one I went into had about 20 nether wart that I was then able to bring back here and plant and spread across until I had this whole area so, now that I've got all this nether wart, and I found a cooked fish in my tower, I'm guessing I dropped it because I had a full inventory or something. Anyway, um, so now that I've got all this, I'm going to head back to my base. And I had to move my portal down here because it was originally up on the floor with the nether wart, but anyway. So, yeah, I just went that direction. And I actually recorded that and the journey from the stronghold back to here. So while I run back to my base, I'll play that video. So I decided to explore off to this side, the right side of my base, because my base is in the center of this map. And I actually found two strongholds side by side, basically. And as I was exploring the first, I found another wart. So, first stronghold I look in after deciding to go off camera, and I find another wart. So, that's kind of funny. But, oh well, now I have it, I'll be able to grow all the nether wart I need. So I'm going to take all this back to my base, and start growing it. One thing I did find kind of interesting is this is the first stronghold I think I've seen where it's all enclosed like this. Because before it's just been lots and lots of bridges. There was a blaze spawner right over there which I grabbed. But, um... But yeah, so I should be able to retrace my steps back to my base and show how I got here. Got up here by dropping down from up to here. Or, well, climbing up from here. This is obviously a drop down to lava. That I haven't seen before, so that's kind of interesting. Then I come over here. And then I believe that I went down, because I got up to the stronghold from down here. There's the other stronghold I was talking about. <laughs> I was totally going to explore it, but not anymore. is that way.
see if I can remember how I got here. I know it was this general direction. Go that way. Yeah, I recognize that. This is where gas fought me a bit. in the soul sand on here. Okay, so, that was definitely an intriguing experience. After that, I simply planted what I had, and then I had to go get more soul sand at one point, but other than that... Alright, so... Now, brewing. Let me first drop off all this stuff, because I don't need... <laughs> I think that's... was it? Like that color before? I don't know. Anyway, don't need all of this stuff. Let's see, rotten flesh can go. Well, I guess I can get thrown away. Or I can grab it. Hmm. Yay! If you're going to guard that door, I'm going to go at this one. Alright. So that's done. I can put my... Was I carrying my flint and steel before? I don't remember. Let's see. Put those... Add. There we go. There. Why don't I have another rack in there? I don't know. Okay. Another rack goes... If it goes anywhere, it goes up here. Because this is apparently the nether chest. Okay. Uh, let's see... Fish goes in here. Pull out my blaze rods, because I'll be needing those. Pull out my gunpowder, because I'll be needing that. Will I need glowstone? I don't remember. Um... Actually, that goes in there. Uh, I don't think I need all of those, so I'll just have 30. Mushrooms go in there. And I'll need... Let's eh, just bring out a stack. Well, yeah, I'll do 30. Because I don't remember the, how much it takes. Okay. And then I'll need some smooth stone. Which I've got some. And I should put that back up there. Okay. Now, where should I put this brewery stone? I could put it right here, I suppose. You know, let's put it right there until I decide I don't like it. Okay, like that. And I believe it's just like that. Hmm. No? Okay. Uh, let's see. Brewing table. Brewery 
you stand. Ah, there's three cobblestone and then blaze rod. Okay. <laughs> Made it more complicated than it should be. Hey. Yeah, brewing stand. There. Perfect. And then I think I'm going to put my nether map. Um. Let's see. I'd like to put it back in here, but there's no room. Um. I guess I could put it like that, and then just put these feathers here. Okay. Now I need glass. How much sand do I have? Some. Okay. I guess we'll start with that. But I'm going to throw some rack with that. All right. So now, first thing I do is make some bottles, I believe. It's a one-to-one -one ratio, thankfully. Well, it's actually technically more of a three-to-three -three ratio, but whatever. Alright, so now, I think, don't I like fill them first? Never done this before, but I've seen people do it. Yeah, okay. All right, I guess that works. I'm gonna have to go down there to get them, but whatever. Although, hmm, actually, I didn't. Well, actually, that's not a bad idea because they're gonna drop all the way down, and then they'll get sucked into the pipe, and then they'll end up back in my chest. Huh? That's almost like I planned that out. <laughs> all right, so can't shift click apparently. Put that in there, and then I take the nether wart and put it there. And in theory, this will brew them into awkward potions, which is the next phase I need. I'm going to put these in here for the moment. I'm going to need a brewing chest now that I think about it. did not think this far ahead that I was going to need an extra chest. Yep, right there. So that's good. That's why I set it up so that anything I didn't understand would go into that chest. Alright. Awkward potion, yay! So let's dump that. That, like that. Yeah, I guess that's the right chest. Goes there. Then I guess I'll put the other wart. Now, I guess I'll put it up here. I think I need like about 42. Eh, that's close enough. Alright, so now. That like that, and I guess I'll take as many of these as I can. Alright, awkward potion. Um. I can't put a chest there. I can't put a chest there or there. Where do I want to put the chest? I don't want to put the chest in the floor. Huh. Can't really put the chest. I could put the chest there, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. Don't know. Um. I guess. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 
A small chest wouldn't be big enough. Unless I put it like that. Yeah, okay. If I do that, that's what we'll do. There ain't no room at all. Alright, uh, I'll put that up there. Oh, incidentally, I'm going for health potion 2. Splash potion. Splash health potion 2 is what I'm going for. I guess now I've got enough storage space. Um, actually, wait, 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 wait. Yay, I finally got to use some of these spare chests that I've got without actually making more. <laughs> Alright, so put this... No. Let me do that, and then put the torch up there. Like that. And then I'll put this here like that, and then I'll put that up there like that, there we go, and then my potion supplies can go up there. Alright, so now I just have to process all these water bottles. So while that's going, what does Blistering Melon take? Take that, that. Blistering Melon is just like that. That's awesome. Alright, so in theory, if I do that, that, that. Perfect. And while I'm here, I can do that, 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 like that, like that. Done good. Put these up here. Of course, I'm gonna have to pull all these out again once I've converted them all to water or awkward po awkward potion. But this way, I'm doing this one step at a time. Problem though is that. This will only give me, in the end, 38. And I was, I'm going for 128. That's two stacks. Because I want a lot of health potions. Because I'm gearing up for the Ender Dragon fight. So, I'm going to need lots of stuff. And I probably won't need as much, but I'd rather be over-prepared than under-prepared. Because when I do it, I'd like to make it look really awesome. <laughs> so, I guess I, I'm just debating whether I should cut this here. Looks like I'm actually done. It, be careful. So, I guess I'll do that. Mm. There, I'm just doing some math here in my head. Pull these out. That them up there. This is the last three I'm going to do, and then I'm going to start doing the next phase, which is to s uh, run them through with Glistering Melon. I'm going to need some Glowstone as well. And there we go. So now that they're Awkward Potions, I run them through with Glistering Melon. This will turn them into Healing Potions. And then... I use the glowstone, and then I use the uh, gunpowder, and that should 
make what I'm trying to make here. Okay, potion of healing. And the glowstone dust to make them potion of healing two, because these only do three hearts. Potion of healing twos do two, uh, six hearts. Okay, potion of healing twos. And then I run them with the gunpowder to make them into splash potions. And the reason I'm making them into splash potions is because ordinary potions you have to drink, whereas splash potions instantly, you just throw them on the ground, bam, instantly healing you. So there you go, splash potion of healing. You can't stack them. Oh. Well, that changes things. I thought you could stack them. Huh. And you can't. I'm, I'm gonna bet you can't stack ordinary health potions either. Well, this is very irritating. Huh. Yeah, you can't stack them. Hmm. I'm gonna have to totally rethink how I want to do this. Well, I'll turn these into Potion of Healing 2s, I might as well. And then I'm gonna have to think here, because I was under the impression I could stack them, which makes it really overpowered, but now that I think about it, it makes more sense that you can't stack them. Hmm. Right, well I guess that's on hold then, until I figure out how I want to do that. Alright, that's... Okay. <laughs> so now, I guess... I wonder what I do now. Well... Hmm. I guess I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go see... If there's any Endermen... In my, uh... Quarry. It's been... About 30 minutes, which is what I usually make my episodes. And I'm still short ender pearls. I, it's daylight out, it's like noon. So I can't exactly go out there. But um, I guess that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to work on that off camera until I've got enough ender pearls that I can actually go to the end. And that will give me some time to ponder. Is that an Enderman? I can't tell they're so far away. Yeah, I triggered the Enderman. But he's not going to be able to get me from up here. So I guess I'm going to have to go down there. But I'm going to try and kill a few Endermen and get some more pearls. And in the meantime, I'll be thinking about exactly how I'm going to do the Ender Dragon fight. Anyway, so I guess I'll cut this video here. And see you in the next part.